Take a look at that beautiful city. Today we're at Hart's Landing. There's a fishing pier in a park. We're gonna check it out and I'm gonna talk about all the ins and outs of where to go, how to do it, and how to have a backup plan. I'm Lenny Besterman with Sarasota Experience. I'll see you back here in a second. Well, it's Lenny Besterman, Sarasota Experience. We're going to be talking about the Hearts Landing Bait Shop and Park. This would be a great time to ask you to subscribe and ring the bell. All of our videos, there's a little red button on the bottom right hand side of your screen that says subscribe. Make sure you hit that and ring the bell so when I post a video, you get to see it right away. One, this is not sponsored and I want to make this very clear. I am not affiliated with Hearts Landing in any way. I just think it's an iconic area in Sarasota that needs to be covered. Very interesting story with Hearts Landing. It, absolute, it actually established back in 1934 at the foot of the old bridge. And then when the John Ringling Causeway was brought in in the mid-60s, it was placed at the very foot of the new John Ringling Bridge, which is in a prime location and beautiful. Obviously, if you're a fisherman, this is a place you want to visit. It's one of the oldest bait and tackle shops in Sarasota. But guess what? You non-fishermen and fisherwomen, do not worry. It's got one of the best views, best sunsets. Bring your kids. There's an awesome park, an awesome place to work out. There are always people doing yoga and exercising classes. It is an awesome hidden gem and a great place to enjoy family time. You fishermen, what a great place to come out, enjoy. You have to be careful throwing your cast nets, which I recommend you do, but if you throw that off the seawall along this park, very dangerous, you'll more than likely lose your nets. The city put in huge pieces of riprap, and I'm assuming it was the city, but somebody put in riprap, which are huge bolters to help uh, sustain the waves from crashing into the seawall. The downside to your cast nets is if the cast nets get tied up in that, you'll never get it back. You'll have to get in the water and most of the time they get ripped. This is the plan I would use. I have seen it happen for years. I would recommend you throw your cast nets from the pier. Just remember that the riprap that is under the water, especially at high tide, most of the time you cannot see. So if you let the net sink all the way to the bottom when you're close to that wall, even from the pier, it will come down and hit the rocks and get tied up. Keep that in mind. This place is awesome for fishing. I'm not huge with understanding fishing, but I have talked to many fishermen over the years. There is tons of different fish and snook and uh, grouper, all kinds of different things. As a matter of fact, if you know anything about this area, if you have any experience, put in the comments below what, you've, uh, what kind of fish you caught. I'm very much attracted to it because it's just an awesome area. I love flying the drone down here. I love coming down here and just walking around. And I have, uh, taken advantage of walking across this beautiful bridge several different times. And it seems to never matter what time of day or year it is when you walk across the bridge. It's always very, very nice. I have brought my kids down here since they were very young to enjoy this awesome playground and park. Great place to picnic also. Pack your lunch and enjoy that family time. Now here's one downside. Sarasota County and Manatee counties do an awesome job with their parks but they are limited with parking in some areas, and this happens to be one, one place that is. When you come under the John Ringling Bridge, there are at least 10 to 15 different parking spots. Then if that's full and you have a truck, you can come up over top of the curb and park underneath the bridge. As far as I know, that is accepted and not a problem. When you come past the bait shop, there is another additional maybe 20 or 30 parking spots on the left-hand side that, uh, that also will be good. The months between January all the way up to Easter usually is the busiest time of year with the best weather. So you're more than likely going to need to plan for parking. Now the backup plan that I wanted to talk about is, let's say you plan on coming to Hart's Landing and there's no parking. You are centrally located to Bird Key Park, St. Armand Circle is not far away, Marina Jack, and all surrounding downtown areas. Well listen, I hope you enjoyed today's tour of the Hearts Landing Saltwater Bait Shop and Surrounding Park. 
I know I did. I really enjoyed filming this and absolutely love this area. We are very fortunate whether you live here, you come on vacation, or you're just hearing about Sarasota, Florida, that it is a natural, beautiful, absolutely amazing, can't put in the words area. Please take care of it when you're here. Clean up after yourself, throw, throw away your garbage. Be careful with the plastics blowing into the water and just enjoy the area. I really appreciate you stopping by and make sure you like and subscribe for the next video. I'm Lenny Besterman's Sarasota Experience. Enjoy Sarasota, Florida, and if you're just hearing about it, make sure it's on your to-do list. We'll see you soon.